Hey guys, welcome back to Die Jesus. My name is Maple. I'm Ariana. And today we are watching The Bear. We're on season two, episode eight. Now, unfortunately, I recorded Into the Void. Um, we did watch this episode last week, but we literally cannot find the footage of our reaction anywhere, which for three years doing this and that being it's the first time that this has ever happened, it's not terrible. Um, I think I'll be able to better articulate some of the points that I wanted to make. So I don't feel like it's necessarily a negative. No, I remember it being a good episode again, though. Can't remember details. I don't really remember what happened. All, uh, we're but... just going to get into it and then I'm sure it'll come back as we're watching it. But yeah. yeah, I don't quite, we're coming off of forks. That's all I know. I just know I... Richie's episode won't leave me. That's fair. <laughs> basically. I think it looks so good, but it is mm -hmm. very like um, empty on this on the the wall side. Is that the window though? Into the because kitchen what? because that's a hood vent. That's what I'm saying. So is that where they're getting the food? Is that why it's kind of empty right now? Maybe it's just an open, like an actual open window. Yeah, maybe. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Back the ambiance where you're just yelling out though. Yeah. Wait, Hands, I'm actually so surprised how annoyed people are with Sydney in the comments. I haven't seen it. And I'm I just. You all right? So what's today? Um, nice sit exam. I thought. There's a lot of blue. That sounds right really now. serious. Uh, nice level two. It's a, a fire suppression exam. And yeah. pretty much it has to go right above the stove. What? I'm really sorry. I just like. Um, never, ever apologize. I just want you to know. This is really nice. So nice that I, um... You're waiting for the other shoe. That's it. You want to know a secret? Yes. Nobody's keeping track of shoes. I think that's so cute. It is. And then we, we put this uh, balloon on the line, and if the balloon fills up... If it leaks, you fail. If it leaks, we fail. And if it doesn't... You achieve level two. Wow, you've done it. Break a leg, bear. You feel so much more relaxed. Yeah, that is true. Have you ever been to Chicago? No. Actually, I have flown into Chicago in order to drive somewhere in Wisconsin where there were cows. I wanted to go see cows. It was like, that was basically all Your I Your whole saw. trip was to go see cows? Yes. <laughs> I love that. I for wanted you. to go to a dairy That'll farm. <laughs> Yeah. Just, this conversation is so cute. Here. What happened to it? Uh, they had to close. I heard there were too many old bitches working here. I love the lighting here too mm -hmm. because she's maybe some cool old but bitches like a step bitches. <laughs> the maybe side of her that's facing him is warm. Mm -hmm. And maybe he's very warm. He's very warm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they get scared, afraid. Yeah, makes sense. Does how an old bitch would think. But that's why they surround themselves with bad motherfuckers who take care of them. Too much changes. No, too many hustlers. They all want to be top Jeff. <laughs> what they're really top looking Jeff. for is a stubborn, childish, immature, pain in the ass with arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> Her enunciation of that was great. I'm nice to know a guy. Send me his info. Every moment seen in this, it's like, yeah, catch, it's catch like me on the really wrong day, like, I'll cry. Like, catch me all... on the wrong day. Fire suppression test, you? Controlling the zone, staying calm, creating space, no trust. How do Wait, we do that? what? I don't know. Oh, the Pepto Bismol bottle that's mm -hmm. everywhere. That guy Sydney uh, has it right now. This is question. The best offenses have the ability to reset and, and adapt on a dime. Book? Book, yeah. We can do that, though. We have to. Okay, yeah. You have not your heart burned into death. Oh, it's such a cinematic shot of someone drinking Pepto <laughs> Bismol. Like, it did not need to look that beautiful. Like, there's no Let's reason. One thing before you start laughing at me, I don't hear anybody laughing, G. He looks great. He looks so yeah. good. Suave. 106 miles to Chicago. Full tank of gas. 
<laughs> we still... Cigarettes. It's dark. I'm wearing sunglasses. Hit it. I... I have no I still idea, have no what, idea that's what that's a reference means. to. It, it can't miles be. To it Chicago. can't be in the show. Like it's got to be just like something we're supposed to know. The Six hundred miles to Chicago. Full tank of gay, yeah. Sounds good. Pepto Bismol. I'm wearing I'm some really glasses. They did not. Yeah, well the fire suppression's working, but the gas just won't shut off. Behind. Hey. For all the people who said she doesn't say behind, she just said behind. Yeah! Is that what it's about? Her not saying behind? Well, because she stabbed Richie in the ass. She was hilarious. Like clocking to work, we don't say hi to people. Is that like a Danish tradition? I was going to We just don't say hello anymore? Surprise you. With what? This. One of three. Let's see with the olive oil. I just feel like that tastes so good. Like, I know no, it tastes order. divine. Whoa. Very yes. Yo, what's up? We good? Hi. Um, not really. Fridge is still broken as fuck. Fuck, right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just, um, I had this gnarly panic attack last night, and I was telling uh, Claire about this time at uh, Christmas. My, my mom drove uh, her car through the house. Um, who's Claire? She's a girl that's a friend. Oh, so, so sorry. She's a girl that's a friend? <laughs> you think? Okay. Uh, next. Uh, you <laughs> you think? House. Yes. You our house. It was actually... Very fucked. I actually like that they anyway, that that episode a, a cannoli, is alluding you know, to that he was Christmas telling Christmas the story of well, this. Right. Cannolis because I associated them with my weird fucked up family and them. Um, and I don't know. I was talking to Claire last night and I kind of had this this realization that maybe I could I could kind of take them back, you know, make them my own. The cannolis, you know. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's healthy. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I've been thinking about cannolis and, and more specifically savory ones. Okay. With the mortadella mousse. Mm -hmm. Parmesan shell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dipped in pistachio. Oh, I would love to right? know what that's like. Can they you, not Jack. dip it in the pistachio so oh, I can eat shit. one? I'll get your squab tea. Right, yes, sir. I like the kitchen window. I don't. I feel like I still can't see. Like, I still I can't grasp it. I haven't seen the whole thing. You know yet. what I mean? I, feel I mean, you. I don't think they've showed it to us, but. I feel ya. I feel like. <laughs> The kid on I the end it. feels promising. Let's go fresh him. Yes, he's got his, his, he's got his knife bag. He's ready. Got it. You wearing a suit? No, not you. No, thanks for not a lot. <laughs> Sorry, you're wearing a suit? Uh, yeah, I wear suits now. Ah, understood. What can I help you with? I, um, I want to apologize. For? Everything, I guess. Hey, can the closest person outside my office come in here, please? What's up, Nat? Gary, Richie would like to apologize to me, and I'd like a witness. Honestly, Gary's the best one to have <laughs> yeah. there, I think. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm being serious. Yes, yeah, so am I. Turn up the heat. Let's like, go. I really don't know what Gary does, but he always has I know, a good just, line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think for a long time, I didn't really know where I fit, you know? And I would shove myself into, like, places and things where I definitely made things worse. I'm sorry if I took anything out on you and if I treated you like shit, because I actually do think that we could fit good together. I could be good at things that you don't really want to do and you're obviously really great at a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know how to do, you know? Ooh, the blues this episode, I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, I'm wearing a suit because it makes me feel better about myself. What do we think? I think he did a really nice job. Thanks, Gary. So genuine. Like from his soul, no GNR. Why are you wearing a suit? <laughs> Why are you covered in shit? I was fixing the gas line. Well, I wear suits now. That's so sick. Now, I <laughs> <laughs> Can my sister come to friends and family? <laughs> I forgot. Bring it back. Is it because of the thing? Or what do you think? You, really? Is it because of the thing? thing? What I. Yeah. Because of the thing. No gavoons at friends and family. Francy fact. I'm I'm telling you, I'm coming as Francie fact when the series yeah, ends. I don't even know what she looks your like. Your life here easier. Tell me, I'll f do it. I need this place to work. We need this place to work. You and I will interview for a house today. Okay. okay. Um, 
I was thinking about the, uh, the, the grapes and the bone broth, right? Um, Wait, what is this? Are we, are we drawing? Are we doing drawings now? Well, no, I had to draw these because we didn't have the heat, so I couldn't You had you. to draw them, so then you, like, whip out these fucking Sistine Chapel? Like, this, yeah. Like <laughs> right, okay, just it's listen. Like so, uh, on plating, um, show you... Like how there's, like, a coffee stain uh, on it. This looks kind of like a chaos menu. Well, no, it's, like, it's a thoughtful chaos menu. Hmm. <laughs> Claire and I, we, we were talking about it last night, and, and she helped me realize that maybe I was clinging on to some things like, that... Like, I just knew that that was going to piss her off, just, too. Uh, like, I don't care that's going to make her so mad, because it's like... Right, and... Because he already, good, like, right? threw it out the window. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, great. Tell Claire I said thank you, then. Yo, why are you being like that? What's up? I just, um, I didn't know that we were, like... Running our menu by Claire. Not running the menu by Claire. It's to my revised cogs. To your girlfriend. You don't need to send anything to, she's not my girlfriend. So she's not even your girlfriend. And right. we're like arranging this menu. She's not arranging anything and she's not looking at the yeah, menu. This is what you wanted originally like and, that's and that's what I'm giving you. It's so now. awesome. Did. And I'm no, sorry. Not I like awesome. fucking like Dude, eating cannolis stop, my stop, whole life. Stop. Now. stop. Sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Awful. I'm tired. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I've been tired, but I'm really tired and that wasn't cool and. Same. I am tired, and um, all right. Like wh wherever I'm, I'm, I'm from f***ing up. Just let me know I'm, 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 I'm f***ing up because I am like I'm. No, you know I'm trying. I just think they need okay. some more cohesion. Good. Like good, we're good. Yes. Okay. She's I been left to her own devices for a, more than a few episodes. Many you know what I mean? But she mm -hmm. among them might be if this person is your girlfriend or. I agree with Sydney here. Girl? Yeah. Yeah. So right. That's. I'm being. Sh I mean, not great. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you 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 either want to be with Claire or you Listen, don't, don't, don't because he's obviously questioning his so situation with Claire, which is why I think it feels weird every time they're together. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So like, I just won't be then. Okay. Like that'll. All right, I relax. Just, um... You'll be hearing from us. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, us too. Good luck. I mean, well, she ain't it. Okay, why can't we hire her? <laughs> we can't hire her because every single napkin on this table is folded in alignment with the salad fork, except for her. She just he is sat there. On fire. We're here for 20 minutes. She's there, looking at that, knowing that- That would have bothered the shit out of it's me. It's fair. I, I yeah. napkin beforehand? Sugar, you guys want stars. That ain't a star catcher. If I'm her, that napkin would have driven me f crazy. Yeah. I would have fixed it. I just thought that was a little bit of my autism, but apparently it's just being a good server. Like being good, attentive to your job. Oh, in fact, on the wall with the f***ing Pepto-Bismol bottle. Yeah. You too? His rat tail just draped yeah. down. I ran two more tests myself, and I just, I can't figure it out. Ew, that can't be good for you. Like, eat some food. Is Claire my girlfriend? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Ask you have to like ask to see. Girlfriend's a horrible word. Yeah, are you my girlfriend? That's like that's fucked, right? <laughs> asking think, fact for relationship I advice. I feel like I missed that part last time, yeah, where like he's out. asking, like I have to ask her if she's my girlfriend. Also asking fact for relationship <laughs> advice overall too. Yeah, it's right back to that point. Like we said, like he, I think fact like facts say he's your best friend. <laughs> We're not friends. It's like okay, dude, you're asking him for dating advice. Yes, baby. In the pantry closet. Do you want her to be your girlfriend? <laughs> They're still there. Uh, what, what is a girlfriend? What is a girlfriend? How much do you love her? <laughs> well, how much do you love her? I, I did know, not. I just, like, like, I love her a lot. <laughs> That's nice. Good? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Your suit is, is nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Our suit's now. Nice. You smell good. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Thanks. Listen, Carmen thought this might be nice on the line, but he wanted me to run by in case maybe he thought it was too intense. No, I, I think it's nice. Does your family have a catchphrase? <sighs> no, I, I'm an only child. Yeah, same. You had <laughs> Which personality-wise, that makes that a little funny yeah. between the two of them. No, you do too. All right. It feels if you need anything. also like a vibe okay. here. I want me an enemies to lovers trope of them. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Rihanna, you didn't mention that before. Whoa, I wasn't even I, thinking of that. I think I did, but I was very quiet because I was like, because there's so much happening. So really, if we fail, you we really yeah. fail. 
You feel it. Hit me. Oh, fuck. I, I forgot. Think... I, like, this... This is I probably think... the funniest scene, and I think it just, like, went over my head a little bit. No, that scene definitely went over my head. I didn't <laughs> remember any so of that. Funny. Neil. Huh? Yes, sir. May I borrow Philip's head? Okay. Yeah. He's so cute. I love him. I'm glad he came oh, back. A photo? Five years. Black party. Why is it burn? Because my girl was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Jewish lightning! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it did not. <laughs> I can't. You. Well, well, what? You guys, as new hires, you gotta know. We want to do serious business here, and in order to do that, this has to be a serious place. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> go over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, gang. Let's just take a quick break while I go address this um, problematic individual. <laughs> Thanks so much. What? He did try to burn down the restaurant for insurance money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he overrode the system. Start from the beginning. He tried to burn down the restaurant. I think that he overrode He's like the fire sweating. system yeah. so the gas wouldn't turn off and it wouldn't put the fire out. Make it so. Yeah. Good job. The way he said that was very like Jack Black coded. Yeah. Put the fire out. What are you guys doing? Just staring at some stuff. Fire suppression. Yay. Oh, I God, like that. I shot like that pants. That's so good. <sighs> the color, all the blues. Like, I just love how this whole episode is shot. The gas line. I love how all the important things are blue. Ten. Nine. Faggy is funny. <laughs> so Natalie Brizzato, you have a restaurant. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! She hugs the fire suppression man. He's just like, okay. A little crust. I love how that looked. That was amazing in every way. Also, did you notice like all the colors too? Yes. God, I just love how they did this episode. Like the color. Ugh. What do you think? Hey, it's beautiful. Thanks. Yo, you got a second to help with the lighting levels? Yes. Yeah. Just give me um one minute, okay? I just um, I gotta call my girlfriend. Oh, and then he walks into the green. Did you see that? Yeah. Pasta dish. It's not important. Anyway, I love that she's a Duke fan now for her. <laughs> like, I really do, just from reading the book about Coach K. Okay, guys. Yep, they're, yep. Three of Swords. On her shoulder. All right. Yeah, okay, anyway. so Three of Swords is basically like an act of like, you're actively like going through pain and heartbreak. Um, yeah, grief, sorrow, upset, loss, trauma, and tears. And I think that if you look at Sydney's tattoo, it's like fairly faded. Um, and the lighting too kind of washes it out a bit. Also, I love that Carmi's making spaghetti. Bet. Like it's like the spaghetti dinner Everything is like his is celebration so of like full circle, right? Yeah. Now. Like he's like making yeah. spaghetti because Michael, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like his yeah, it's like but to me, it's a little faded. And I think it's personally saying that Sydney, like, obviously has a chip on her shoulder. And I think it's like the environment that she's in is an opportunity for her to heal that grief and sadness that she's had, um, you know, with I think she's very lonely. Um, and so I think that this was a very interesting touch. And I love I just like tarot. So I know. Yeah. All about that. So when I saw that, I was like, that's the Three of Swords. And then we had to go back and look because it's very faded. It's like mm -hmm. the two of the swords, you kind of don't really see them that well. So, but I don't know. I love it. And I think it's just like symbolizes that she's got, you know, like her little chip on her shoulder. But it's going with away. Time, it's, 
it's healing. It's healing and it's going away. And, like, they just have – her and Carmi have some things I think that they need to work through. I think Carmi – like, I think it'll be a good show that if Carmi can commit to, like, a love interest, right? Yeah. Then, in, th- in theory, right, then he should be able to then take that same passion and energy and commit himself in other places because – if he can't commit to one thing, then he can't commit to anything. So it's like he needs to, like, find a way to, like, do the things that he wants to do and allow himself the time to, like, feel good about those right. things. And I think that Claire, obviously, with the house party episode, even though as an adult, I think I, I still think that was weird. Often to do something <laughs> completely not that. Um, but, like, she she does bring an element of relaxation and fun. And I think, like, Claire's a good reminder of, like, like she said, like, no one is counting shoes, dude. I think, too, um, I think it's really interesting to show Carmi kind of with how he's going about Claire and how he's going about the restaurant because it seems that, like, uh, Carmi's path was kind of, I don't want to say toxic finance. Not financials, Ariana. Toxic family dynamics are really hard to deal with, and everyone deals with it in like um, different way. And but the subset is usually like you stick close. You possibly become your parent. You stick close to take care of your family, or you're gone. Right. You know. And because he took that kind of that path to be gone, and then he even says like in earlier episodes that like he dove headfirst into being the best, basically to spite. Family. Well, Mike, you know what I mean? Because he felt like, so he really dedicated being <laughs> the best. A, yeah. So it feels like almost like even though he is so elevated in his career, he stunted basically everywhere else relationship wise. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you haven't became the best that you could be at your position to spite your brother. <laughs> like, yeah. you know. To, to only then just lose him anyway. Com- yeah, to come back. So I think that that really shows like the, the whole way that they're talking, especially making it the conversation with Fack in the closet. Like, how do, do I ask her to be my girlfriend? I think it just kind of shows like he is on the socialized side and everything else. Like he didn't really get that. Like he didn't get the college. You know what I mean? He, was he, wasn't, and he probably he wasn't, wasn't th- focused on relationships. No. Like, so it's like, yeah. this is probably his first real girlfriend, you know, and it being somebody that he was like, and obviously very, an interested enough in that, it was a topic of conversation at a family when he came back. Yeah, event like to the point where like it was almost attempted to have her there. Like right, yeah. So I think it shows a really good way with that because also tying back in what you said. So now he can go and have this like healthy relationship with you know why did I just Claire? I just lost her name. Yeah, Claire. But also he can have a healthy relationship to the restaurant. Yeah, you know and what I mean. I, and it be from a place of love, not yeah. from a place of negativity. And I understand Sydney's frustration. Mm-hmm. I think. Just, like, between their dynamic, I can understand, like, that's why, like, I was like, oh, she's not going like that. Like, he shouldn't be being like, well, I told Claire. Because it's like, Sydney's been, Sydney, I feel like since the day that he was like, okay, like, we need to go test out all these other kitchens, right? And try meals. Like, he canceled on her. And it's kind of just been canceling on her ever since then. And I think, like, and if it's not canceling on her, it's just simply not planning anything with her because he's doing something with Claire. Yeah. Or he's not going to be at the restaurant and he's not doing this. And so while she's been like holding everything down, like trying to like build the vision, I think that's why also bringing up the chaos menu thing again is really frustrating to her because she already worked out that that's not. Well, he also, when he says he doesn't want to do the chaos menu, he, it's very much a throwaway statement. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, no, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. It's like, what? Exactly. So it's kind of like, okay, so like Sydney, I feel like is kind of getting like sloshed around, right? Where it's like Claire, like we don't fully see their relationship, but like the same thing, if he doesn't choose to commit himself to his tasks and to the people around him mm-hmm. and his responsibilities or the things that he wants, then the same thing is going to happen with Claire that's happening already like in the restaurant between him and Sydney because him and Sydney – have a like um professional partnership you know right like they have a professional relationship and sydney you know carmy is sydney's other half like they have to be working Work together life. in Work order <laughs> in order to then execute the vision to be able to have that right to have be able to have somebody to communicate it to the team like so which I and that's why I like that the conversation ultimately ends in them being like, hey, like she's like, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. But like you like you need to decide. Like, yeah. 
that's messed up. Like, and she just came to him like as a friend. It's messed up. Like you're either that's either your girlfriend or she's a girl who's your friend, and like you need to be clear. Yeah. And so I think I think it's a good push for him. Yeah, I um, think so too. I do fucking love when they go back through the line and it's the flashback and it's almost like the show showing us like what's almost that each of them can lose or what's at stake or why they need this to work. Right. You know what I mean? Like you see... Or what they're trying to prove to themselves. Yeah. Like, like you see... What's most most important. Yeah. And I love it and I do think it's hilarious because you see like... <laughs> like the end is like Sydney hugging her dad. The end is not snuggling up next to Pete, and then you yeah. know, like all these things. And then in fact, it's just four balloons, <laughs> four four popping glove balloons, like four gloves exploding. Uh, Which I mean, for fact, like it's a big deal for him to be able to yeah. prove that he can fix things. Absolutely. And, like, and I'm sure for him, it's like the weight of the restaurant was on his shoulders oh, because yeah. if he didn't figure out how to fix the gas, like. How are they? They they're not passing that fire suppression yeah. test, and so, um, <laughs> yeah. Just, oh god! I just the lighting, the shots in this are great, and then um, and every I felt like every interaction was so intentional, and so like a moment of like someone somewhere in that conversation, someone ha was having a moment, yeah, of having like self awareness and like or like owning up to something that. It, it's yeah, like a Tina at the window, themself. like her, like yeah, her little like role play conversation there, like getting him to come back to work. Yeah, and, like, and then like Richie coming in, apologizing to Sugar, and just being like, "I'm sorry, this is it," and then all that. Again, Sydney and Richie's conversation, which I would push for it. A lovers from enemies to lovers it's trope. I think. I feel like she's probably just going to end up with Marcus, but the Richie angle would be intriguing. And I just... It would be. Oh, yeah. And then I saw, too, like, so, like, in the Christmas episode where they mm -hmm. stick their tongues out at each other, him and his daughter do that now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about that. That was a, that was a really cool thing to point <laughs> That's out. That's cute. And yeah. then... So it's just, like, there's just so much growth. Like, where we are to, like, and I love that they did do, because, like, in the beginning, you're like, oh, what's going on? Is everyone's getting their own episodes? And it, it felt kind of slow until, you know, you really get to see the Richie episode, and then it all ties back into this episode. It's just a beautiful way to just really kind of yeah, like really wrap like it almost all up until, like, we, we know we're about to have chaos in the next two episodes. We're a week oh, to open, God. and then the opening, probably. Opening like, is always, like, even a soft launch. Like, uh, that, fuck a soft like launch. when you do a friends and family, <laughs> night before you friends get into and, it friends and family Fran france is fact france is fact also francy fact what did she do is it about the thing what's the thing you never hear sugar like really like saying negative things about someone you haven't seen i know and she's and like, like so it would be interesting to see her actually like hold a grudge are you because asking of me how... if you can bring friends Back. Are you really asking? Yeah, she's like, are you really? So uh, there's definitely beef there. So that's intriguing. Yeah, um, just the whole there's show, so the things. writing, the acting. It just feels so grounded in real life in a way that I can't say I see that often in other yeah. shows. Like, I think the only thing that really kind of compares at the level they're at is Succession. Yes. Um, I mean, Succession's so good. Like, if yeah. Oh my god, I love Succession. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like, but uh, like. Just what I can think about off the top of my head because it's just – it's so well done. It yeah. feels so intentional. Nothing is left to chance. Not that I think other shows are, but this just – in like, again, the tattoo alone. It's – Yeah, there's so many small there's things There's no way everywhere. it's not on purpose. The blue everywhere. You open and everything has a blue tint, but then you also do get the pops of color yeah. in a way that feels very intentional. Mm -hmm. So – yeah, that's all. I could just keep gushing about it because I just... Yeah, it's so good. It's just so, it's good. so good. I need when We need to stop, but yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out and watching this episode of The Bear with us. We'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.